Okay, so you don't want anything to be a surprise to your dog um, when you're on a trial. Most of us can get some practice on birds. It's often more difficult to get practice on a, perhaps a, a hare that's quite likely to be shot at a lot of trials. And you often see dogs fail on a hare retrieve because they either put it down or they don't pick it up well the first time out or actually they were unsteady on it to start with. Well, steadiness isn't the test here. Um, I've got a hair out, it's quite freshly shot and it's okay if you are given one that's a few days old but the thing is they're stiff and that the problem the dog has is in picking them when they're freshly shot. So if you can get hold of one at some stage and just give them some experience on picking it before you meet one at a trial, it is a great idea. It's well down this track so she might be out of sight a few minutes, it's blind, um, she's got to wind it and it's a cheek wind, there's, there's no wind in her favour. Back and fetch. Sit, sit. Back! Sit. Hello! Ah, she's, she's got it. And she's picked it up by the back, which is what they need to do. Very good, dead. Very good, sit. A hare is very soft through its belly and it's almost impossible for a dog to carry it without damaging. So they quickly learn to pick it up by the spine and that is the way they can balance it in their mouth then because this isn't as big as they can get. And once, I, that's enough, sit. <laughs> once, um, you know, they're really big, then picking them is a real issue. Because I've got this, I'm going to let Dora retrieve it as well. Dora's retrieve is at the base of a big tree. Back and fetch. Out! Although some people may not like it, using cold game for training is necessary to ensure that the dogs can handle live game situations in a humane and efficient way. Dead. Good girl. Very good. Good girl. Good girl.